How to create ID card designs using Canva. This is for Canva users or for those who like to use Canva for their ID cards. Mas madaling gamitin, especially if there are available templates and design elements. Kung wala ka pang Canva Pro, you can find the link in the description. Allow us to provide you a short tutorial on how you can prepare the artwork and make it ready for printing. Hello guys, this is Jackie and this tutorial is based on digitalprinting.ph file requirement for printing ID card. Let us proceed. Open your Canva on the web. This is also applicable to apps. Start by clicking on the Create a Design button and use the custom size. Use inches instead of pixels. For portrait, use 2.18 by 3.47 inches. And for landscape, Use 3.47 by 2.18. This size includes the bleed, so this is slightly bigger than the actual card size, which is 2.125 by 3.37 inches. Let's use 2.18 by 3.47 for this tutorial. This marks the edge of your actual card. So this is the edge, kailangan extend natin ang ating uh, gradient na design element hanggang sa dulo para doon sa tinatawag natin na bleed. But take note that anything, any design outside the margin will be trimmed. That's to get the actual card size. Important details such as text, photo, and logo ay hindi natin sila ididikit sa margin at hindi din natin sila ilalagpas sa margin. But this margin, dapat i-delete ninyo ito kapag isi-save na. This is just a guide habang ginagawa natin yung tutorial. Ping ang suggested file format. And to download the copy, you need to increase your download size. As you can see, we're using 1.6 by 2.6 pixels. This is to get high resolution copy. Use the employee's name or the card owner's name as file name. So here, let's use Daniel. Let's check the file in Photoshop. You will see the size is correct for our file requirement and you have a resolution of 750. Kung maganda yung quality ng ginamit niya na picture, maganda yung quality ng logo, dapat maganda din yung downloaded cup. Now, let's proceed to the back design. If you're using a generic design, when we say generic, it is a design standard for all ID cards. Hindi siya personalized. Do the same thing. Use the highest resolution possible pag nag-download kayo. I'm not sure if uh, kung available ba tong feature na to sa hindi pro. Just in case hindi available, you can share the link to us para kami na ang mag-download. Just make sure to rename each page. And then just use generic as file name. Now, for other cards, of course, you can duplicate your template and then just replace the information. Insert the photos, type their names, and of course, please rename your pages. Okay, use uh, like the same Missy James front, Daniel front, and then for the back, you can use Missy back and Daniel back. So we are do we are doing the back design na hindi generic kaya meron tayong file name based on the card owner's name like Missy James back. Pag sinabi natin hindi generic meaning personalized siya with the card owner's information like SSS, yung iba may blood type, may address, may contact information pa. It is important for us na kapag na-receive na namin yung files, ay properly labeled sila with the card owner's name. Because it is easier to check. If you have any questions, you can always message us.
download these pages all at once. Now to share the files, we suggest that you use Google Drive, WeTransfer, OneDrive, or Dropbox. Upload all your files all in one folder. It's properly labeled, so don't worry. No need to separate. And then you can share it. This is our email, cs.digitalprinting.ph. You can choose anyone with link or you can do restricted. For as long as this is shared to us, we can open the files, we can download the file. Or if you'd like to use wetransfer.com, there's no need to sign in. Drag and drop the files. This is our email address and then you can enter yours. You can type your message. And then click on the transfer button. Now, if we just want to use the get transfer link, drag and drop the files and then get a link. Then share the link using email or using Facebook chat. With WeTransfer, it is only valid for one week and then the files will be deleted. That concludes our tutorial. Sana nakatulong. You can always chat or email. Thank you so much for watching. This is Jackie. Till next. Bye.